Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to this Lunchbox special snack box edition brought to you by D-Box. That's a lot of boxes I know, but if you stay to the end of the episode, you can find out how you can join D-Box Labs and win some cool stuff, including a $250 Amazon gift card. So today on Lunchbox, we're doing a bunch of different special things. I have Spencer here. He's my first guest on the show. We're going to have a couple other surprise guests as it goes along. Who could it be? <laughs> <laughs> what could be in here? There's nothing because it doesn't fit, but now... There we go, we got some Fruity Cheerios. I figured we'd start off this snack box thing with the, everybody's favorite snack of the day, breakfast. Now, Spencer, have you ever had Fruity Cheerios before? I have, but there was more colors last time I ate them. It was like green and red and... So they were more of a Fruit Loops ripoff, and now they tried to make them look more earthy. Looks like they went out and dug in the dirt and it was like they got some dirt Cheerios and... It actually does look like that. <laughs> this is just like one I've never had. Don't shit on me for grabbing it. I just want to try it. Orange one. Look at that pour. Look at that Ooh. pour. Look at that. Tell me when. Tell me when. Say when. Spencer, when. Spencer, you gotta say when. I like milk. I want it to be like on the front cover where you pour the milk and there's like droplets that explode off the milk. It smells like Fruit Loops. It does smell like Fruit Loops. I mean, <laughs> These aren't very appetizing to look at. They kind of look like, the orange one kind of looks like shit. Somebody was like, not based on flavor, but on appearance, you want it to be like the gruel of Cheerios. <laughs> Tastes like Fruit Loops. You know, I think I have had Fruity Cheerios before. <laughs> God damn it. They taste exactly the same, they just look different now. <laughs> See, the thing about this special episode, I'm letting you guys do the ratings. I'm not doing any of the ratings. I just gotta say, it's not super appealing visually. It is the gruel of Cheerios. Like, I think it earned that title. It tastes, I think it tastes healthier than Fruit Loops, but there's probably just a little less sugar. And the scheme of Cheerios, it's fifth place out of all of them, so which I think is pretty low. I'll give it a two out of five Cheerios. Ooh. I, I think that the, the flavors are all there. If someone had a box of this at their house, I'd still eat it. What do you do in this situation? So you're at a friend's house, you're spending the night or something like that. They have fruity Cheerios Ooh. and corn pops. Now, what's your favorite kind of cereal? I like honeycomb. All right, honeycomb. I almost went honeycomb, but I went corn pops. That was a mistake. They have honeycomb and fruity Cheerios. Okay. And you see in the pantry that they have this, but they're like, hey, do you want some fruity Cheerios? Now, <laughs> you see the honeycomb. Do you just not say anything and say, yeah, that's good? Or do you say, could I actually have some honeycomb? <laughs> How well do I know these people? Are they like my best friend? Or is this like, am I at a friend's friend's sleepover? You're at a friend's friend's sleepover. Ooh, God, that's tough. And yeah, this is a big sleepover that you were invited to. I would say this is this is how I'd, I'd do it. They'd say, do you want fruity Cheerios? I'd be like, oh, that sounds good. Is that honeycomb? <laughs> is that honeycomb? And then they'd be like, that is honeycomb. I'd be like, could I have some of that? And then the conversation takes itself from there. You've already given me your, your rating, two out of five Cheerios, mm -hmm. but before you leave, you need to eat the rest. You need to drink all that milk. It's like this, drinking this, a glass of milk. This lip isn't really designed. Yeah, well, I mean, you've, this is the, the, the hole you've dug yourself into. Yeah. <laughs> Don't judge me. Come on, little boy. Come on, little boy. You gotta finish all your breakfast first. No, finish your breakfast first, little boy. Oh, it was almost done. He's dribbling on the table. Oh, what a bad little boy. <laughs> He's done. All right, Spencer. Thank you for uh, being on this lunchbox special with me. Oh, no. You got crap all. Oh, his goatee's right on my. No! Joe, we are going to be eating some chocolatey caramel Pop Tarts. You and I, are, I think, are a bit of uh, Pop Tart enthusiasts. I mean, it's pretty close to what it looks like on the box. It's a little, you know, messier than what it looks like, but it has that classic pop tart smell. Ready? All right, let's go for it. Whoa, mm, that's, a, that's a really chewy meal. There's a layer of caramel. Mm, a layer of caramel right there. Hmm. You know, this tastes exactly like the cookies and cream one. This kind of tastes a little bit like when Jordan and I, or Spencer and I, do those little tiny powder foods. Mm. I'm getting that flavor. <laughs> I'm wondering what this would taste like heating up, it heated up. I think that might be where it's in its prime. But I'm, I'm hitting actually, I just hit a really good bite. The more it sits in my palate, 
the more I get the chocolate caramel flavor. Definitely milk dud. I feel I like know. I feel like this this can't be reviewed until it's heated up. I don't know. I think this is a winner. Oh, you're a vertical stacker. Otherwise, it gets lost and it's tough to pull out. Especially this one's. This is a deep toaster. That's true. <laughs> Whoa. When time's running low and you need a Pop-Tart, um, you can rely on it being tasty right out of the package. Better raw than cooked? I'd say so. But again, that's my pre that's my preference. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Joe? Four out of five. Next subject. All right, Alex, we're doing some Chipotle barbecue Sargento cheese bite thingy majiggies. This is the one that's designated to be eaten like a snack because it says snack bites on oh, it. Oh, yeah. Because usually at home, I'll just grab the shredded cheese by the handful and stuff it in my face. Totally do that. <laughs> I totally do that all the time. It's kind of sad. Ooh. Mm, that's yeah. a, That smells. These look like, like uh, flavors. These look like um, those hot fries. What are those called? Hot fries. So, oh, you just went for it. You got a nice brush on them. Mm. Almost doesn't taste like cheese. <laughs> Man, that seasoning really overwhelms the flavor of the cheese, so it's like the cheese is kind of the texture of it. Yeah. Joe's giving it a try. What do you think, Joe? <laughs> Joe likes it. Joe likes it a lot. It is nicer having these kind of like french fry shaped cheeses to eat mm -hmm. instead of shoving a handful of shredded cheese in your mouth. <laughs> I think the cheese uh, market has gotten really smart about Packaging cheese as a finger food. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Baby bells, string cheese, cheese bites. You have everything now. Do you think they were in meetings like, I've heard that people just eat the cheese. <laughs> These are dangerous. I could eat an entire bag of this. So this is one penny away from $4.20. That's a little high for- Cheese is kind of pricey. But it is under 20 calories per stick, it says on the yeah. packaging. Well, I so just I ate mean. like 200 calories or something. <laughs> It should say 20 calories per stick. Good luck eating one stick, you asshole. <laughs> so how many sticks out of five are you gonna give it? 20 is a tad high, but it is good. Four out of five. The Ooh, safe round. Four out of five, that's a good safe number. Did you say 420 is pretty high? Now we're gonna move on to the ultimate final special end snack box round. We are here in our final mega round for the lunch box special Ooh, snack box nice. edition. We got some Doritos right here, guys. Now these aren't any regular Doritos, these are roulette Doritos. They're just regular nacho cheese Doritos, but every once in a while, you're gonna get one chip that is a very hot and spicy Dorito oh, chip. Oh, I get it. <laughs> now we're gonna make a little game out of this. Now, can, I, can I see the nutrition? No, we're gonna make a little game out of this. Now, Jordan, I know you don't like bacon. Nope. I don't like bacon. Well, right and here, I have some bacon Ritz. Oh, oh, So I figured this would be a slightly more less desirable win. If you end up picking out the hot chip, you have to eat the bacon. If you do not get the hot chip, you get to eat the Oreos. And oh. both you guys oh, have to I didn't to even see the Oreos yeah, over there. Yeah, there's some birthday cake Oreos. It's a cool, special flavor. Now, what's the best way to do this? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. Is it how long go? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Uh, tail in, you are not it. Ha, right, I'm so not it. You Jordan are. gets to go first. First. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, take your Dorito. Yeah. No, e no, eat it. You just eat it. Just eat it. I can't really tell. Then I it's taste, not the spicy one. I taste some spiciness, but it you'll know if it's the hot and spicy okay. one. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Well, now that you've done that, grab one. <laughs> oh. Wow. I sneeze way over there. With all over your hands. What? All right, Jordan. Um. Nope. What? No, Jordan, you're just going ahead. Okay, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get hot just because uh, my it. hands are on the side of my face. I just got you it. You got a hot one? All right, Steph Lynn! Do you have any water or something for this? No, but you do get some bacon ritz to quench your, oh. quench your thirst. That's better than the... <laughs> uh, oh, baby? Should be, yeah. <laughs> oh, they smell like bacon. You know, this smells like chicken in a biscuit. Chicken biscuits. The best cracker. This is like you're eating a Ritz cracker with a piece of bacon on it without the bacon. Yeah, that is 
Hmm. Pretty good. Do you want me to leave? Why are you? Oh. Alright, Jordan. Out of five Ritzes, how many Ritzes would you give that? Five out of five Ritzes! My goodness! Alright. We got some birthday cake Oreo. You okay. are the winner. Thanks. Oh, fuck. Look at the different colors. It's beautiful. Why'd you say fuck? Because it went, came off on one side. You just put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. That's probably a birthday cake. Uh -huh. Very creamy. It's a lot of sugar. Oh, yeah. That's very, I mean, comparative to regular Oreo frosting, it's definitely has a different kind of bite. Very rich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I could scarf these down like I could scarf down regular Oreos. It's not even my birthday. <laughs> but I want to <laughs> lick the ice and off. You know what's up? No. Well, anyway, what do you think about this stuff? What are you thinking about your birthday cake Oreos? I think they're good, but I can only have one. It's way too... It's a lot of... It's like a cupcake with a bunch of frosting. You just can't do it. Yeah. Are That's they as sweet is. as the victory against Jordan that you just won? Jordan! Yeah. No, no, you're not! I can't eat it! Oh! oh, God, baked in an eye! Baked in an eye! Oh, this tastes disgusting! <laughs> you have it all in your teeth! <laughs> How many Oreos out of uh, five Oreos would you give this Oreo? Based like on an Oreo? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a 1.75. Look at our space! Yeah, I'm glad I lost because these things suck. Yeah. I actually like these Ritz They're crackers. Fine, I'm eating them off the table. Well, while you're eating those off the table, we're gonna talk about D-Box. All right, everybody, now that we are done snack boxing, let's talk some D-Box. Now, D-Box, if you don't know, is the world leader in immersive cinematic motion technology that translates what's on the screen to the seat you're sitting in in the movie theater. Now, D-Box has seats in many movie theaters around the world that move based on the actions happening on the screen to give you a one-of-a-kind experience. Sounds become motion. You are not just watching a movie or playing a game, you're part of it. D-Box is at the forefront of developing the next generation of this exciting movie watching and gaming experience. And you can also join in on the process of research and design by joining D-Box Labs. So if you want to help participate in the development of this awesome technology, here's what you need to do. Step one, click the link in the description, answer some initial questions, and be entered to win a $250 Amazon gift card. Step two, at the end of the questionnaire, you will be invited to join D-Box Labs, which is an online research platform where new discussions, questionnaires, and many concept testing activities will be posted on a weekly basis. By completing these activities, you will be entered to win one of three $500 Amazon gift cards. You can also win movie tickets to watch a movie in a D-Box theater near you, so you can share your experience with the D-Box Labs team. So to qualify and join, click the link in the description, and thank you very much to D-Box for sponsoring this episode of Lunchbox, the Snackbox Special. See you guys next week.